Hamilton Mayor Fred Eisenberger joins us now to talk about another issue that really is now become citywide, and this is the issue of encampments for homeless people that are, um, I, I know the city is has an injunction available to, or, or not an injunction, but the, they have the authority now that they can go and remove these, and that caused quite a protest on Friday. It did, and uh, the protest was uh, in front of a, one of our public works uh, facilities to try and prevent the, the public works staff from doing the work in the city, whether it was encampments or anything else they were doing in our city, which I think is uh, unfortunate. Uh, having said that, the uh, judge uh, you know, ruled just a short while ago that uh, the city was uh, within its rights and certainly uh, was appropriately dealing with encampment issues, finding appropriate shelter and housing for individuals in our community. So in the last little while, we've uh, we've offered uh, 12 uh, couples and individuals uh, spaces in, the, or sorry, 40 uh, individuals and couples in our shelter spaces, which is about the number of folks that are living rough in our community right now. Uh, 12 of them have, uh, have agreed to do that. And over the life of the pandemic, we have housed uh, upwards of 500 individuals uh, off of the streets and into either shelters or affordable housing uh, in our community. So the work continues. Uh, we, we don't want people to uh, have to live in a, a rough circumstance like a, an encampment, especially in this weather, but any time. Uh, they are not uh, necessarily safe places to be, and we do want our parks to be available for our citizens to enjoy. So we are, we're going to continue that effort, but uh, we're, we're very focused uh, each and every day on talking to the individuals that are living rough uh, asking them what their needs are and trying to provide uh, appropriate uh, safe shelter or housing spaces for them uh, each and every day with uh, certainly a large number of uh, staff people working with them, including police, to, uh, to try and accommodate uh, to have that happen. Is there enough space, though, in, within the shelter system? There, so that, that, that's always a point of debate. The judge ruled, uh, uh, as staff had presented, that uh, yes, there is predominantly enough space. Uh, the, some of the challenging areas are, are individuals that have multiple uh, issues, like uh, addiction issues and mental health issues that need wraparound supports, and certainly that's something that's more challenging to provide. But we uh, continue to provide those uh, those supports, and uh, we continue to work with our provincial government to uh, to to look for and ask for more resources to be able to provide more of those wraparound supports that are going to be needed if, uh, for some of the individuals that are living rough that have multiple issues they need to be dealing with. And so it's a, it's a challenge, uh, but uh, by and large, there are enough spaces for people to get housed. Uh, we do run into situations where people refuse to go. And it's not like we can uh, arrest them or uh, pick them up and place them somewhere against their will. They have, uh, they have a choice. Uh, the, the reality is we, we do, want, do not want them to make that choice, uh, some of our city parks. That is uh, against the bylaw. It always has been. This is nothing new, and we're going to continue to enforce the bylaw. It almost seems so. Like I'll, I'll be driving around the city, you'll see one that's been cleared out, but then just as soon you'll see another pop up, and not just in parks, but in the trail system, uh, under the um, overpasses in the city. It's a sad situation. It is a sad situation, uh, and no one would, would want anyone to live in that circumstance. But the reality is uh, uh, that, you know, tents have been, been with us for decades. This is not a new scenario. Uh, it this seems is like not there's a more new choice that some people are making. And, uh, and, and reality is they, they, uh, they can make that choice. Uh, but they, uh, they do have options to get into either shelter or housing space. And so we're going to continue that effort and uh, work with these individuals to try and help them. And I understand that City Housing is uh, bringing forth its winter housing plan. Um, is it this week or next week? Uh, next week, yeah. Uh, you know, don't don't get me to quote you all the details, mm -hmm. but obviously, uh, you know, finding safe, uh, you know, refuge for people uh, during the winter has always been an issue. So we have cooling centers, uh, cooling centers in the uh, in the summertime, and we will have uh, you know heating centers uh, as well to provide uh, comfort space for individuals in our community. There'll be a number of issues in the plan, but that'll be coming forward to uh, to ensure that folks are not in danger when they're uh, living rough on the street and that they have a refuge that they could go to. Mayor, uh, Hamilton Mayor Fred Eisenberger, thanks for joining us this morning. I know you've got another meeting to get to. Great, thank you. My pleasure.